At the opening of the movie, we are greeted by Dr. Jessica Martin, an emergency physician, kicking off her day at the hospital. It's a busy morning for her, as she goes around comforting her daughter Eva on the phone about their upcoming trip, before moving on to checking patient files and giving the interns a tour of the hospital. Elsewhere, at a resort, Will starts his day on the beach, light as a feather. He goes around surfing and sipping coconuts while Jessica struggles with her duties. She's in the middle of checking a patient file at the nurse station when Dr. Bailey walks in and reminds her that she needs to be out of the hospital soon. Upon his insistence, Jessica puts down the tablet and heads towards the door, promising to have fun during her upcoming trip to Fiji. Back home, Jessica packs for the trip with Eva when her friend Karen stops by. She hands Eva a camera as a going-away present. Ecstatic about the gift, Eva walks away, leaving the two women to talk among themselves. Karen tells Jessica that she has something for her as well. With Jessica's interest piqued, Karen tells her about how Dr. Robertson has won a fellowship, opening up an attending position at Jessica's workplace. Upon hearing the news, Jessica's first instinct is to text Dr. Robertson congratulating him for his achievement. However, it's Karen who connects the dots for her, pointing out how Jessica is next in line for attending. While Karen seems ecstatic about the idea, Jessica is not too thrilled. The promotion might mean a raise in a management position, but the hours are a deal breaker for her. Jessica is already swamped with work, and so, she's more interested in setting up her private practice, which would mean better hours, and allow her to spend more time with Eva. Although Karen seems more inclined to the attending position, she expresses support for her friend's decision. Karen herself seems to be questioning her future in the ER, with a baby on the way. She mentions how things are already hard with David, her husband, being halfway across the world. Upon hearing this, Jessica offers to cancel her trip, to stay back for the birth of Karen's child. But Karen tells her to go, saying how Jessica has been looking forward to the trip for a year now, and how Fiji meant a lot to Jessica and her late husband. In Karen's opinion, Jessica deserves to share that with her daughter. Upon hearing Karen bring up her late husband, Jessica's expression turns solemn. Reminded of the past and convinced by her friend's words, Jessica boards the plane to Fiji, eager to welcome the future that awaits her. Upon arriving in Fiji, the mother-daughter duo is greeted with breathtaking sights. A shuttle takes the two to their resort, where Eva immediately takes out her camera and starts taking pictures. However, she's flustered when the resort's employee, and the daughter of the resort's owner, Melly, takes a picture of her at the entrance. Eva shyly makes her way to Melly with her mom, who welcomes the two to the resort. When the desk frees up, the pair proceed to check into their private villa suite with the help of Danny, the owner. After checking in, Jessica goes to grab her luggage to go to the room, but finds another man reaching for her suitcase. Apparently, the two have the same one. Jessica commends the man's taste in luggage, who thanks her for the compliment and surprises her by calling her, doctor. Jessica is taken aback at first, but quickly lightens up when she learns that the man simply read the tag on her bag. The man manages to pique her interest when he reveals himself as a leading thoracic surgeon, Dr. Trevor. She's about to launch into a conversation about medicine when Eva intervenes, reminding her to not talk shop during the vacation. Upon her daughter's insistence, Jessica promises to continue the conversation another time, and makes her way to the room. In the villa, the two women are greeted with a mesmerizing view. But as they take in the sights, they find Will, one of the owners, hammering away on their back lawn. Unhappy with his presence, Jessica politely asks him to return another time. However, Will refuses, pointing out that setting up the hammock is an urgent matter. Sensing that the man won't budge, Jessica chooses to go to the pool with Eva. She basks in the sun, while Eva is busy taking pictures with her camera. Jessica asks her to put down the camera and to just have fun, because her father would want her to. However, Eva says that she needs to be ready to snap the perfect picture, to remember the place and her dad. While Jessica appreciates her daughter's goals, she reminds her that sometimes it's better to not have an objective. Eventually, Eva agrees to put down her camera, if her mom puts down her phone. Determined to beat each other in a friendly competition, the two put away their devices and head to the beach for a walk. There, by the water, Jessica reminisces about the time she spent on the island with Eva's father. She fondly thinks of the memories she created on the island with her late husband. It's clear that she has a strong connection to the island, even after so many years. Eva finds it unbelievable that her mom eloped with her dad just a few months before graduation. However, Jessica says that it was the best decision of her life. The two had made plans to move to Fiji. Jessica would have set up her private practice, while Eva's dad would have spent his days taking people on fishing trips. However, pregnancy and medical school prevented the two from realizing their dreams. But Jessica promised Eva's dad to take Eva to Fiji one day, the island where they first met and fell in love. And this trip is her way of keeping her promise.
Jessica vows to do everything from snorkeling to horse riding with Eva, in her father's honor. Eva listens enthusiastically, grateful for the opportunity to connect with her dad this way. It's clear that her father holds a great presence in their lives. The two then make their way back to the resort, where Trevor, the thoracic surgeon from the desk, beckons them to join him at the table. As the three sit down for smoothies, Trevor takes the opportunity to sneakily inquire about whether Jessica is here with someone. Upon finding that she isn't, he asks the two to join them for horseback riding, since he's out here alone, to which the two girls happily agree. The next day, as Jessica and Eva are heading out to the beach, Eva suddenly remembers that she forgot her camera back in the room. While she runs back to grab it, Jessica makes her way to the reef with the bench, the same one where her husband used to sit and admire the sunset. As she breathes in deeply and draws on the memories of the past, she finds her moment interrupted once again by Will. It's clear that she finds his interruption distasteful. But she doesn't say it out loud. Instead, she asks an apologetic Will about why he's always doing physical labor. Will explains that he does it because he's part of a family. He also appreciates Jessica's choice of the reef, saying that it's a hidden gem. Jessica explains that her husband used to come out here an eternity ago. She also tells him that she was apprehensive about coming back to the island. But weirdly enough, she finds herself at peace. Will leaves her to enjoy her moment quietly. Jessica then heads back to the beach with Eva. As they're enjoying the ocean water, Lanny, the co-owner and Danny's wife, approaches the two. With her morning classes cancelled, Lanny offers to give the two some paddle boating lessons. Eva jumps at the idea. However, her excitement soon turns to frustration as she struggles to find her balance on the surfboard. To save her from embarrassment, Jessica decides to take a hike. On her way to the trail, she runs into Will who coincidentally happened to be going for a hike as well. He offers to accompany Jessica, who happily accepts. As the two make their way through the jungle, Will reveals that it's actually his day off. However, he's happy to take Jessica on the hike, as long as she doesn't act like a guest with an agenda. He seems to look down on people who rely on lists and checkboxes, to which Jessica politely disagrees. In the air, her lists are everything. While Will acknowledges the importance of structure in a setting like the Ur, he points out how planning too much can make one miss out on the wonder. He then picks a flower and hands it to Jessica. He leads Jessica to a mesmerizing hidden waterfall. While Will promptly gets in the water, Jessica is not too thrilled by the idea, fearing the many microbes in the waterfall. However, upon Will's insistence, she musters her courage to step into the water, only to slip at the rocks and into Will's arms. The close proximity makes her flustered, so she quickly swims away. Back at the beach, Lanny is watching Eva when Danny approaches her, asking her to join him for lunch. However, Lanny has to turn down his offer because of back-to-back -back lessons. Danny floats the idea of asking Will, but Lanny tells him not to, since he's out on the trail with Eva's mom. Danny seems amused by the idea of Will spending time with a guest on his day off, and giggles about Will finally breaking one of his supposed golden rules. Soon, Jessica returns from her hike with Will. Before parting ways, he hands her the same flower from before. According to Fiji tradition, a flower on the right side of the head signifies that you're available, but a flower on the left side means your heart is taken. Will patiently watches to see where Jessica will place her flower. However, Jessica chooses neither, and strategically places the flower in her bun in the middle before walking away, leaving an amused Will all on his own. As she makes her way to Eva, Jessica is approached by Trevor, who takes the opportunity to ask her out to lunch. It's clear that he's interested in Jessica, but she seems oblivious to his attempts. He appreciates the flower on her head, plucks another one off the tree nearby, and hands it to Jessica for her collection before walking away. Jessica takes the two flowers from the two men, holding them close, and smiles to herself, unaware of the love triangle that's unfolding. The next day, Jessica and Eva head out to go horseback riding with Trevor. To her surprise, Will turns out to be the one leading the group. Jessica is momentarily uncomfortable by both men being present at the same spot. Meanwhile, Trevor is surprised to see that Jessica knows Will. Will introduces Jessica and Eva to the horses, while Trevor steps aside to reply to some texts about a case study. However, as he turns back, he trips over a few rocks and hurts his hand. Jessica immediately rushes to his aid while Eva picks up his phone. Jessica asks Will to point her in the direction of an emergency kit, but Trevor stops momentarily and asks Eva to read out the last text on his phone. She does as she's told, and Trevor asks her to type a reply for him, despite his state. Eva proposes the idea of telling Trevor's co-workers that he's on a vacation. But Jessica scolds her, while Trevor says that there's no vacation for doctors. In the kitchen, Jessica tends to Trevor's wound while Lanny walks in and thanks Jessica for her services. The resort has been having a hard time recruiting a doctor, so having Jessica there is a huge help for her. With his wound all taken care of, Trevor thanks Jessica and steps aside to get back to his work call. 
Right then, Will walks in. He takes the opportunity to ask Jessica about how she knows Trevor, a question he has been holding in for a while. Upon hearing that the two met on the island, Will points out that the island is known for bringing people together. However, Jessica says that she's here to find peace, shutting down Will's hopes of getting with her. At the beach, Jessica is waiting for Peter, one of the resort's workers, to make her a smoothie when she notices him eyeing Melly. She takes the opportunity to impart Peter with some dating advice, telling him that he's talking to Melly too much about work and that if he only shows her one side of her, she won't get the chance to know the real him. Jessica says this while eyeing Trevor in the distance. It seems like she's realizing how being involved in work too much can hinder someone from fostering relationships, and how the same holds true for her. As she takes the smoothies and heads to the beach, she's greeted by Lanny, who appreciates the flower in Jessica's hair. Jessica responds by saying that having multiple flowers to choose from is good. Although she seems to be talking about the flowers, it seems like she's hinting at something else. At night, Will is in the kitchen when Lanny walks in and rather loudly hands over the breakfast order for Villa 16, the same one that Jessica has been staying in. At the same time, Danny walks in talking about Jessica. Will, who can overhear them in the distance, figures out what the two are up to. As he prepares to leave, Lanny and Danny cheekily block off his path. Forced to confess, Will admits that Jessica is not like other guests, and that hanging out with her makes him forget his golden rule of not dating guests. The next morning, Jessica is sitting in the villa, enjoying her breakfast which came with a red flower, the same one that Will handed her before. Eva is packing her camera to go on a hike with Melly and her friends. She seemed reluctant to go at first, but upon waking up, she thought of her dad and decided to embrace the experience. With Eva gone, Jessica takes the opportunity to walk up to Will. She takes him up on his offer of a free horseback riding lesson, in the spirit of spontaneity. Will points out that the horse available is known for being unpredictable, which seems to be an attack on Jessica, who likes to plan out everything. However, to his surprise, Jessica says that she's alright with it, and that she's opening up to new experiences without relying on her list. It's clear that, like Eva, she too is coming out of her shell. The two then ride their horses along the beach, where they start talking about their past lives. Will reveals that he too had been married, an eternity ago. The two connect over past regrets and their love for the island. When Jessica returns, she meets up with Eva, who shows her the pictures from the hike. Jessica thanks Melly for bringing Eva out of her shell. She was never one to show her pictures to her mom or anyone else. Melly then floats the idea of Eva using her photo printer and submitting some of the pictures for the art show. Eva seems skeptical about it, but her mom pushes her. Right then, one of Eva's new friends from the hike asks her to join her at the ice cream carts, leaving Jessica alone with Millie. Millie tells Jessica about how Eva was full of questions during the hike, which is music to Jessica's ears, since Eva finds it hard to thrive in new situations. Millie asks Jessica about her morning, upon which she reveals that she went on a horseback riding lesson. Millie assumes that Jessica went with her dad, but upon finding that it was a private lesson with Will, she bears a cheeky smile. Later, Jessica joins Trevor for lunch. As the two sit down, Trevor asks about Jessica's plans for the day. She says that her plan is to in fact not have one. It's evident that being on the island is bringing out a change in her, and Trevor takes note of it. Millie stops by to ask the two what drinks they'd like. Jessica takes the opportunity to point Millie in Peter's direction, under the guise of asking him about his choice of drink. As Jessica watches from afar, Peter acts on her advice from before, and talks to Melly about something more than work. Satisfied that she's brought together two people, Jessica turns to Trevor and tells him that she loves helping people. It's the entire reason she's a doctor. However, Trevor surprises her by saying that he does it for the puzzle, which adds to just one more difference between the two. At night back at the villa, Jessica is braiding Eva's hair when she tells her mom about how she was right about the island, and how she feels different on the island. However, she's worried about not finding her perfect picture yet. Jessica comforts her by saying that sometimes you go on vacation to find one thing, but you end up finding something else. However, Eva finds no comfort in her words. As she closes her eyes to sleep, Jessica tells her that even if she takes the attending position, she'll still take time to go on trips like these. Jessica realizes that she, more often than not, brings the stress of the hospital back home with her, and that she needs to relax some more. However, Eva, too tired from the day's activities, has fallen asleep. Jessica leaves her to rest, while she herself goes for a walk around the resort. She finds Peter, who's closing down the shop, and asks him where she can find some chamomile tea at this hour. Peter points her in the direction of the kitchen. However, when Jessica makes her way to the kitchen, she overhears Will, Danny, and Lanny talking inside about her. Danny and Lanny seem to be pressing Will to open up about Jessica. They believe that something is up, since he took her on a private horseback riding lesson. The two ask him whether he's thinking about breaking his golden rule for her. Right then, Jessica walks in and asks for chamomile tea. The three seem taken aback by her presence. As she returns to her room with the tea, Will catches up to her, asking for a chance to explain himself, to which Jessica reluctantly agrees. He takes her aside on a dock, showing her the best view in the house. While Jessica appreciates the night sky, she says it won't distract her from the topic at hand. 
realizing that he can't get out of it that easily, Will explains that he was married to a guest a long time ago. However, the only reason she married Will was to feel like she was on vacation forever. And when that wasn't enough, she left him. After the incident, Will set the rule of not dating guests for himself, as a defense mechanism. Jessica relates to his troubles, saying how losing someone can leave you stuck in the past. However, Will says that he has been stuck in the present these past few days, even dabbling in the future at times. Upon his reply, Jessica musters up the courage to ask him if he would consider breaking his rule now. She seems keen to hear his answer. However, before Will can reply, their conversation is interrupted by a phone call from Karen. Back at the villa, Jessica and Eva video call Karen, only to see her in a hospital gown. Her baby might be coming sooner than expected. But Karen has to wait till her appointment with the doctor on Thursday before she can tell her husband for sure. The next morning, Eva and Jessica step out to go snorkeling with Trevor. However, he goes off again, saying that he has work to attend to. Even with their company gone, the mother-daughter duo head to the beach to enjoy themselves. They run into Will, who offers to take them snorkeling. In the water, the three are greeted with schools of fish and breathtaking views. As they return to the island, Eva runs off to snap some pictures, leaving Jessica and Will to talk among themselves. Will hands Jessica a heart-shaped rock that he picked up from the beach, saying how the island changes everyone. Jessica is listening keenly to him when she notices a jellyfish in the water and jumps into his arms. Will seems amused by her reaction, but tells her that there's nothing to worry about. Upon hearing this, Jessica asks him to put her down, embarrassed by her overreaction. However, Will doesn't want to. He makes up an excuse about stragglers in the water, and promises that he'll protect her. He then carries her onto the beach, while Jessica seems amused by his antics, letting herself be carried. The next morning, Jessica is in the room getting ready when she calls out to Eva, who steps out in a dress. Curious as to why she's dressed up, Eva reveals that she has something to get ready for. She then hands Jessica a gift one of her pictures, framed. Jessica thanks her for the photo. Eva then takes her to the art show to show her something. Jessica seems confused as to why they're there. Eva doesn't reveal the reason until she walks up to her display. Jessica is proud of her daughter finally mustering up the courage to show her work to people, especially when she wasn't confident about it before. Right then, Will walks up to the ladies. Jessica talks to him about how he was right about the island changing people, pointing at Eva. However, her conversation is interrupted by Trevor, who seems to be calling to her from a distance. Will doesn't seem to appreciate the interruption, but he acts like a gentleman about it. Meanwhile, Trevor pulls Jessica aside and apologizes for repeatedly bailing on her. He tells her that there's been a breach at the university, so he needs to head back. As a token of his appreciation, he hands Jessica a bouquet of flowers, saying that she deserves the best. He then asks Jessica to join him in San Francisco, so he can get to know her better. But Jessica lets him know that it's not going to happen. Trevor seems disappointed, but he understands. He wishes for her to find what she's looking for before bidding her farewell. Meanwhile, Will is watching the entire interaction from a distance. He doesn't seem all too happy about Trevor handing Jessica flowers and hugging her, so he walks away. When Trevor leaves, Jessica turns to find Will gone. She seems hurt by his absence. At the beach, Danny and Will are staring at the waves, preparing to surf, when Danny starts talking about how when a wave approaches, you have to make a million decisions in a snap. However, Will doesn't share his enthusiasm, saying that a wave could also pummel him onto the reef. But Danny tells him to just enjoy the ride. It's clear that the two men are talking about the Jessica situation, and not the waves. Danny comforts Will that Trevor is gone now, so the coast is clear, before jumping into the ocean with his surfboard as Will follows him. Meanwhile, Jessica and Eva are walking by the ocean, talking about the old times. Eva finds it hard to imagine her mother without her lists. Jessica tells her that she wouldn't mind moving to the island after she retires. Right then, Will makes his way to the ladies on a speedboat, with Danny in the backseat, who seems to have dislocated his shoulder after being caught in a wave. With the nearest doctor being 20 minutes away, Jessica pops back Danny's shoulder right there. Eva, Will and Jessica later sit down for smoothies with Peter, who has introduced a new drink at the bar. While Melly appreciates the gesture, she says that she's not into coconut, but rather the beer from downtown. Although first taken back, Peter quickly gathers himself and seizes the moment by promising to take Melly out for a beer later. Later, Jessica is in the kitchen with Lanny, who's teaching her her secret honey cake recipe as a gesture of appreciation for helping Danny. As the two women enjoy the cakes, Will and Danny walk in. Will wipes some cake off Jessica's face with his thumb smoothly, which surprises Jessica, before the four dig into the cakes. Later, everyone gathers for the festival, where Eva participates in the local dance. Jessica is surprised to see her daughter perform so well. They're soon joined by Danny and Lanny, who make a job offer to Jessica. However, Jessica turns them down, saying that moving out of the country is a huge decision that needs some serious thinking. Later, Jessica is slow dancing with Will under the fairy lights. She talks about keeping the memory of the night with her forever, before the two walk up to their spot on the docks. There, Jessica talks about how she doesn't want to go back, but there's Karen with her baby and the attending position. She seems to be having a hard time figuring out what to do. 
but will simply tells her to do what makes her happy, and that she doesn't have to make any decisions while on vacation. Touched by his reply, Jessica takes the moment to tell Will that whatever time she has left on the island, she wants to spend it with him. She then leans in for a kiss, but before the two can lock lips, Melly comes running saying that someone named Karen called the front desk. Bummed about the interruption, Jessica still video calls Karen from her room, who reveals that she's in early labor. Jessica immediately starts packing to return to the States, to keep her promise to Karen about being there for the delivery. With her suitcases loaded in the car, Jessica bids farewell to Lanny and Danny. With tears in her eyes, she finds it hard to leave the island, having fostered relationships with the people in a short amount of time. Right then, Will walks up in the background. Jessica makes her way to him, saying how a lot of surprises happened this week, but she never expected to fall in love with Will. She then kisses Will on the cheek, leaving him with the heart-shaped rock. At the hospital, Jessica and Eva quickly make their way to Karen, dragging their suitcases along with them. On her way, Dr. Bailey stops Jessica to ask about the attending position. However, Jessica says that she'll get back to him after meeting Karen. The two finally end up in Karen's room and discover that she's had a beautiful baby boy. As the three gush over the baby, Karen's husband David arrives. Jessica and Eva leave to give them some space. While sitting in the waiting area, Jessica apologizes to Eva, saying that in their haste to leave, Eva didn't get her perfect picture. However, Eva surprises her by saying that it doesn't matter, because she had the perfect time, signifying how the island changed her. Besides, she did manage to take a picture that she likes, it's one with her mom, and everyone from the resort. While the two are admiring the picture, Dr. Bailey walks by and asks Jessica if they can talk about the attending position now. While Jessica gets up to leave, Eva stops her and hands her the heart-shaped rock that Will gave her, to hand to Jessica when they landed. With a lot on her mind, Jessica takes the rock and heads to meet Dr. Bailey, while Eva sits back, anxiously wondering about what decision her mother will make. A few days later, Jessica arrives at the resort and greets Danny and Lanny, asking if they still have an opening for a doctor. Danny and Lanny are shocked to find her there. They greet her enthusiastically. Apparently, Jessica turned down the attending position and decided to follow her heart. She then makes her way to Will, who's sitting at the docks, woefully staring at the sunset. She greets him from behind, startling him. Confused as to why she's there, Jessica explains that she turned down the attending position and took up the job at the resort. She pulls out the heart-shaped rock from before, saying that she realized she never wanted to leave. The two then lock lips, symbolizing the start of new romance and a new life, with both of them having finally gotten over their fears. 